Writing chemical formulas. A chemical formula is a combination of chemical symbols that represent the composition of a compound. So here we see NaCl, simply two symbols, one for sodium and one for chlorine. Now in these lower formulas, like in CaOH2, this 2 is called a subscript. This subscript tells us the number of, in this case, polyatomic ions. So calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, is two hydroxides. In our bottom example, Al2, this tells us that there's two things of aluminum and three things of SO4. If we break that down even farther, that means that there's three atoms of sulfur and 12 atoms of oxygen in the compound. Rules for writing formulas. These rules are going to be very important to know. The first one is to write the element or ion with the positive charge on the left and the negative ion on the right. So if I have sodium, it's going to be Na with a plus. Chlorine would be Cl with a minus. If I have a polyatomic ion, like hydroxide, I suggest putting it in a box or surrounding it in parentheses. And then the charge goes outside the parentheses or goes outside of the box. Step number two is going to be to crisscross the charges. So sodium with a positive one, the charge on top will go to the bottom side of chlorine, and chlorine's negative one will go, so the result would be Na, with a negative one at the bottom, Cl with a positive one on the bottom. If we went back and were doing our polyatomic ion, Na with a positive one, the hydroxide with the negative, we're still crisscrossing your charges. So it's Na negative one, hydroxide with a positive one. Step number three is to drop the charges. So when we had Na positive 1, Cl negative 1, we're going to get rid of the positive and the negative signs. When we had Na with a negative 1, and then the hydroxide with the positive 1, again, we're going to get rid of the charges. And then finally, the last step is to reduce. So Na1, Cl1, we can reduce that down to just NaCl. Our example with our polyatomic, Na1OH1, we can get rid of the ones, and since we can get rid of this, since we're going to get rid of this, we can remove the box. So it's NaOH. Please make sure that you know your rules for writing ionic formulas. Write the cation first, anion second. Crisscross the charges drop the positive and the negative sign, and then reduce. So let's practice some. Lithium chloride. Step number one, write the formulas with, for the cation and the anion, including the charges. Lithium forms a positive one. Chloride forms a negative one. Step number two is to crisscross the charges. So that's Li negative one. Cl positive one, drop the charges, and reduce. So Li1, Cl1 reduces to Li, Cl. Calcium oxide, write the formulas. Calcium is positive two, oxide is negative two. Crisscross the charges, Ca negative two, O positive two. Drop the charges and reduce. Here we have the ratio of 2 to 2. Here's the first time we're going to have to reduce. We reduce that down to 1 to 1, so the formula is CaO. Iron 3 chloride. Iron 3 is Fe with a positive 3 charge. How do we know that? Find iron 3 on the back of the periodic table. Chloride is negative 1 crisscross the charges. 
So that's Cl positive 3, Fe negative 1. Step number 3 is to drop the charges and reduce. So Fe Cl 3. Sodium nitrate. Write the formulas. We know sodium is Na positive 1. Nitrate is a polyatomic. So let's look it up. When we look on our ion chart, we'll scroll all the way down to the ends, and there's nitrate. Nitrate is NO3 negative. Don't be careful. Don't confuse that with nitrite just below it. So nitrate is NO3 negative. And remember, we're going to protect our polyatomic ion. Step number two is going to be to crisscross the charges. So protecting our polyatomic, NO3, positive 1, Na negative 1. Step number three is to drop the charges, so get rid of the positives and the negatives. And step number four is to reduce. So we have this 1 to 1. Since this is a 1, we don't need to do anything, so Na, NO3. Calcium hydroxide. Hydroxide, again, is a polyatomic. So let's look it up on our, period, on our periodic table. On our periodic table, we'll scroll all the way down to hydroxide, and we see it's OH with a negative charge. So we have Ca positive 2. Hydroxide, again, protect your polyatomic with a negative 1. That negative goes outside of the box. So we crisscross our charges, Ca, negative 1, OH, positive 2 at the bottom, drop the charges. So we have Ca1, OH2, we can't reduce that, so it's Ca, and now because of this 2 here, we can't get rid of the box. but we use parentheses, so CaOH2. Calcium carbonate. Calcium is Ca, positive 2. Carbonate, again, is a polyatomic ion. So, we look up our polyatomic ion on the periodic table. Going to Cs on our polyatomic anions, we see here that carbonate is CO3, negative 2. So, we protect our CO3, in the box and put our negative 2 outside. Step number 2 is to cross the charges, to crisscross. So Ca minus 2, CO3 plus 2, drop the charges for step 3, and reduce. Here we have a 2 to 2 ratio. That reduces down to a 1 to 1. So I don't need parentheses around my polyatomic.